I returned. Yes. <laughs> so before I start, um, I just want to apologize that I didn't get this out earlier because I was, I've been, <sighs> the past few weeks have been fucking destroying me, so. So yeah. Personal stuff, school stuff, it's toward the end of the school year, so a lot of testing and finals and whatnot. Q&A number two. I saw this lighting again. I like that. I liked it a lot, actually. All right. First question comes from Hector Andres Toro Marquez. He asks, what is your opinion about the toxic edium community? Whew, okay. I've, I've never really had a problem with the edium community. Um, have I been annoyed with them? Yes. There are a few instances, instances? <laughs> there have been a few instances where they've really grinded my gears. Um, one instance, and this is the most popular sort of thing that they love to do to me. When I scrolled, when I scrolled down through every one of his songs, I scrolled down and every single comment is just, this is the best song ever. Fucking 100 out of the 10. No song will ever beat this. And then the next song comes out. 10 out of 10. 100 out of 10. Nothing will beat this. This is the best song ever. And then, you know, rinse and repeat a million t fucking times. It really shouldn't annoy me, but it does. It, it, it saddens me that, you know, just whatever music comes out, if it has noise in it, then people are like, this is the best song ever. Oh, you know what I should do? I should direct those kind of people to uh, the Dodge and Fusky song, the, uh, the Silence is Golden. I should direct them to that and see what they think. <laughs> but yeah, I don't really have that much of a problem with the EDM community. But I will say they do have their problems. Yeah. Next question comes from Downshift GD. I hope to God that GD does not stand for Geometry Dash. Oh, who am I fucking kidding? Of course it does. Favorite song of 2019 so far? Fizzy Lifting Drink. I said this in the last q and I'll say it again. Uh, fizzy Lifting Drink, I, I, I can't, I can't get over that song. It's just so fucking awesome. The, the sound design is amazing. Um, the, just, it, it reminded me a lot of Dwilly's Candy, where you have, like, the, the rapper and then the singer, you know, kind of infused. It reminded me a lot like that. But this one in particular really had something in it that I didn't really, I don't know. There's, there's, it, it's, and maybe most of this has to do with the music video, but it, it just, it doesn't care. It doesn't, it doesn't try to be serious. It just wants to be a fun song with crazy sound design and an interesting sort of drop. So yeah, Fizzy Lifting Drink is my favorite song of the year so far. Um, keep in mind that we're in mid-May, so that could change. Next question comes from Realistic Creeper. Who are your three least favorite artists on Monster Cat? I had to do a little bit of research on this one because I was, uh, wait, because... <laughs> I had to do a little bit of research on this one because there are a lot of artists on the label, and so, you know, I kind of had to go through the, uh, the artist page on the Monster Cat website to kind of confirm who I think are my least favorites. Um, so, and I'm gonna do this technically, even if they had one song on the label, I'm doing this off of technicality on who's been on the label or not. Number one would be Dioro. He did that song with Dirty Audio last year. It's fucking terrible. Um, two, Azadia. I never enjoyed Azadia. Um, the two songs that they have on the label are both... No. Number three, I would have to go with Chris Ramos. You know, he's not... Eh, I mean, he's not the worst, but he's really on that edge. And uh, also, I can't really think of anyone else. Um, so, yeah. Next question comes from Rigged, and he asks, Has your opinions on this feeling changed? I still like the song to this day. No, they have not. They have not changed. I still think it is not that great of a song. Um, I do not believe that... There, there's nothing really there, at least for me. The lead, oh my god, the lead. I can't, I can't with that lead. Again, not the worst song, not the worst song on the label. There's far worse. There's 
far worse. But, you know, this, I mean, I mean, I can't say it's great. I can't say it's terrible. It's, it's like a, it's not very good though. So I'll give it like a, like a three. Yeah, that feels right. A three out of 10. Next question comes from Fiper. Wait, hold on. That's not who I thought it was. <laughs> Assuming you've played Mortal Kombat 11, who's your most favorite characters in... Oh, sorry. Who is... Who are your favorite characters, and who's the most annoying? Mortal Kombat 11. Oof, what a game. Um, my favorite characters would have to be Scorpion, Liu Kang, uh, Sub-Zero, and probably Sonya. She's pretty awesome. Who do I find the most annoying? Uh, probably... Uh, I'd have to say Collector. I think Collector's the most annoying. He just... I don't know. I don't... There's just something about him. He doesn't really serve that much of a purpose in the story mode of the game. And his moveset is really lame. So yeah, I I would say Collector is the most annoying. Next one comes from John. This is video games related. Have you played Mortal Kombat 9? Yes, on a, on a technical basis, I have played Mortal Kombat 9. I have not played the story mode. Um, I've played a few like versus matches with my friends back in the day, back in like 2011, 2012. God. Those were the days. Not to mention those were the years that Monster Cat started, so that's interesting, right? The story mode, you know those, you know how some certain YouTubers will take the cutscenes of a video game and they'll sort of compile them on like YouTube and it'll call it like a movie of the video game, quote unquote movie. That's what I did, or I didn't do it. I watched the Mortal Kombat 9 version of it and I liked it. It was, it was a neat little story. I would, I always go as far as to say that's probably my favorite Mortal Kombat story, um, yet. So yeah, Mortal Kombat 9. Good story mode. And a pretty fun versus game, too. Pretty fun fighting game. Versing game? God, I'm retarded. I need to reboot myself. Give me a minute. Next one comes from Master3530. He asks, I'll follow up the other question. Who are your three favorite artists on Monster Cat and three favorite non-Monster Cat artists? Also, what is your favorite EDM genre? You can only pick one. Fowler, Riot, Seven Minutes Dead. Those would be my top three as of right now, because that can always change. Not on the label. Oof. Um, let's go Coldplay, Foo Fighters, and... I guess Alan Moore, Alan Moore. I'm going to put him down, even though I'm a little iffy about that. I don't know. There's a lot of people that I've listened to. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. There's, there's quite a lot, and I can't really think of anyone else, so I guess I'll put down a lot more. Favorite EDM genre? I would have to go with Electro. Or, I know. No. Either Electro or um, the Indie Dance. Yeah. Indie Dance. Andy Dance is a pretty fucking awesome genre, I'm not gonna lie. Andy Dance or New Disco, one of the two. I love those genres. Last question of the day. Would you rather... Ooh, this is an interesting question. Would you rather only have to listen to songs with Virus Syndicate in them for a week, or be forced to hear all the Avengers Endgame spoilers people say the day before the movie comes out? I'd rather listen to the Virus Syndicate songs for a week. It would, it would have to depend on the week, though, because... You know, there's a ton of monster cat crap that usually happens during a certain week, so I would like to do it on a week that doesn't have as much stuff going on. It's been hard enough because people at my school are all like, Oh, this person dies, or that person dies, or this person is, you know, fucked up. And I don't know. I'm trying to, I try to avoid them. I have seen the movie, for those of you curious. And I did enjoy it. Do I think it's better than Infinity War? God, no. Um, but it's a good movie. 
there's a little end game review <laughs> right there for you a very uh a very lukewarm you know sugar-coated review of end game <laughs> that's all the questions yep that's all the questions thanks for tuning in thanks for watching um let me know if you have any more questions i'm currently working on um crap what am i working on um i'm not really working on anything right now because as far as i'm concerned i'm caught up with all the albums now so i'm not working on anything really until instinct volume 3 comes out which is in like a week or two i'll post another q a thing sometime probably late june oh that's another thing i should probably mention i am going on a trip to california um toward the end of may so i won't be doing any video work until i get back which would be like june 8th or something like that i'm gonna be gone for a week we're gonna go to california um it's been the first time I've been there since probably 2007. Yeah, 2007. And uh, yeah, this will be my second time out of state in my entire life. <laughs> I know my life sad, but whatever, that's not the point. Point being, I won't be able to make any videos from May 31st to June 8th. So yeah, we're gonna be doing that. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys another time.